Hey everyone, welcome to another juicy news breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto! Alright, as always, I'm your host of Frozen Stratos, and today <sighs> we have a lot of news. So much so that we have three videos for you. In this video specifically, we're going to be covering everything coming out of the Kamen Rider Candy Toy News Blog this week. And before that, we have a little bit of Ultraman? Candy Toy Ultraman news for once? Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, this figure here is basically the sigh of relief for everyone who saw that, oh shoot, they're doing a DX Avenger, and then immediately getting disappointed when they saw the expensive price point. This is the perfect middle ground for you, so let's take you through the nitty and gritty of this thing. Um, so yeah, this is Super Mini Pla, or I think maybe regular Mini Pla, Avenger. Uh, so that does mean you are going to have to build it. It is a model kit, but... Uh, they did want to make this easier for you, so uh, they made it so that you can press the, the pieces out of the sprue rather than having to clip them out with a tool or something. Um, that is what they're touting it as, though in practice I don't know how that all works out because obviously I don't have it in hand. So I'm looking forward to getting some in-hand reports of this thing. Uh, let's now take a look at some of the features of this guy. So, um... It is 15 centimeters tall, which is roughly 5.9 inches, so just under 6 inches, and um, generally fits in scale with your soft vinyl figures for Ultraman, which is, uh, you know, from all the people that I've talked to, that's really what they want this for. It's that, you know, 5-6 inch solution for that line, so that, that works out. It's actually technically kind of a little bit more in scale than the actual uh, vinyl figure just because this is much taller and then the the original Savenger was much shorter um, but with this one uh, the only paint app here is the tummy uh, it's that little golden piece there uh, outside of that everything is done in either that silver or dark gray uh, the eyes however are done in sticker which you know it's it's candy toy that's the compromise you take um but it does come with three different sets of option eyes so that's really nice uh it also has two open palms as option hands and i do believe those have separate hinges as well i think that other thing there is a pointing hand i'm not a hundred percent sure it it looks like one i just you know it's hard to tell with this image um and then it also just comes with a cardboard backdrop uh, for like a storage hanger, and I really like that. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the Transformers Studio Series backdrops, so that's really cool. 23 centimeters tall. You can convert that if you'd like. I didn't do it for you. Uh, next up, this is the articulation breakdown for it. Uh, there are, you know, touted as over 20 joints for this thing, so that's really neat. Um, Every B here that's pointed out, those are all ball joints. Something I'm very interested in, though, in this picture is that the eyes are gray rather than the yellow. So I do wonder if, I don't know, maybe that black eye uh, sticker is going to be separate? I'm not 100% sure. This could just be, like, pre-production stuff and it's not, you know, there will be no representation of this at all. Who knows? I don't know. They didn't tell us. Uh, so next up, let's take a look at the... Uh, connection port in the back so it is three millimeter compatible so you can put it on any of your display stands I would recommend the Shokugan base also uh, the same goes for the arm so when you shoot it out you know you can put it on a little display stand anyway uh, this figure is up for pre-order now on premium Bandai um, for I believe 3200 yen or 3520 yen with tax uh, and it comes out I believe February? I gotta check that again, but uh, the the pre-orders are up now if you want it, and uh, if you are anywhere that um, Toku Lectables ships to, uh, this is available for pre-order from them for $65, which, you know, it does seem like a bit of a markup when you consider uh, initially it was like $35-ish dollars before, but when you add in shipping, uh, middleman fees and all that stuff it it works out it roughly works out um so yeah anyway uh i do believe 
that this figure does come out in February, yeah, February 2021, so look forward to that. Anyway, uh, let's move right in to the Soto Chronicle Kamen Rider Gaim stuff. And they surprised us with an awesome little commercial. It was so cool. Uh, the link is in the eye icon above. Please check it out and please spread it around. Let other people know about Soto. It looks so cool. I love seeing this in such a premium light. It makes me so, so happy to see the little line that could uh, making it in the big times. Also, um, at the end of it, they just showed off everything that's coming in Wave 2 of uh, Soto Chronicle Gaim, and then the uh, the blog broke down or just gave us a bunch of images for those figures. So let's take you right through those. Um, first up, Kachidoki looking fantastic at first glance. Just maybe don't stare at him too long because there are a lot of stickers on this thing. <laughs> um, but hey, that's, you know, it's the price you pay. It looks really good, and I'm sure that once the stickers are in hand, and we don't have them as, you know, pre-production stickers, they will be production stickers, um, it it'll probably look better, I hope. Uh, even the back, the uh, flags have, I believe, a wavy pattern to it. I'm not 100% sure if it's like the sticker doing that, or if it is just that pattern, but we'll see in some of these other images that there is maybe some curvature to it. Also, um, he has the Die Die DJ Ju in gun mode and in sword mode. Uh, in sword mode, he actually has to hold it on the, uh, I guess the trigger area and like the upper trigger area. I don't even know where, what to call that area, like right at the bottom. It, it, it has a new hand, we'll, we'll talk about it in a bit. So this looks cool, and once again, you see the wavier pat- I, I'm not crazy, right? You see the wavier pattern on the, on the flag? Right? Okay. Cool. Um, also, the uh, sort of strap, you know what, we'll move to the next image first, because um, he's he's got the flags looking fantastic, and we have a clearer look at the belt. The uh, strap going from the chest armor to the front skirt, that is done in PVC. Uh, so, you know, that means there's going to be some PVC in this, in this you know, whole wave. Uh, and my money is going to be on the crests, all the all the, the V-fins getting the uh, PVC treatment. Because that's what it looks like. It has, you know, the sharpness to it, but then also the PVC mush to it. It's a very weird sort of visual sensation that we'll see in these other figures. Uh, they did not specifically point that out, though, like if the, the crests are or not. Um, but yeah, this is everything it comes with. Except it did not include the stand. It does come with a stand, they just didn't show it for some reason. Um, and we do get to see that second set of hands. Uh, take a look at, you know, the, the one second from the top. Uh, that is a slightly open hand. It reminds me a lot of the rod holding hands uh, for a lot of figures we've seen recently. So that's basically what those are. Um, and you can see in uh, the sword mode for the Dai Dai DJ Ju that um, there is that little handle there that you probably couldn't do with a standard peg and hole. Um, so yeah, Kachidoki looks so good, and of course they'd be reusing the, the same base mold uh, for Gaim, because why wouldn't they? Alright, let's move on into the next figure, and it is Jimber Lemon! Uh, he looks really, really good. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this one, mostly because uh, the sticker detail here uh, is going on flat surfaces, so it looks a lot better than Kachidoki. Still love Kachidoki, don't get me wrong, but it's looking a little bit better implemented here. Um, he's got the Sonic Arrow in a drawn back and a not drawn back version? Like a, you know, an unfired? That version. Um, so yeah, this, this looks really cool. Uh, I'm very happy about it, and it's molded in red, so that's that's an absolute plus. Some of these weapons don't get molded in the right color, uh, so I'm glad this ended up being that. Uh, and, as you'll know, this, this form can form change, I guess. It can change color slightly, and you can recreate that here. You've got the peach, you've got the cherry, and you've even got the melon, which I don't even think made it to like a physical suit, question mark? Second, third, fourth hand knowledge tells me that, um, 
uh, I believe that form was on uh, Zongetsu, and then it only ever showed up in a book. And I don't know, I don't know if you knew this, but books don't have pictures in it sometimes, and I don't think that one did either. So I, I, this might be one of the, you know, this this form has gotten a lot of visual releases before. Even the original candy toy figure had the look for this. So. Um, it's not the first time this has shown up, but it's really funny that this continues to show up, even though it's, like, the least effort possible. You just put some stickers on it. Um, but yeah, anyway, it looks good. This is everything that it comes with. It has four separate belts for each different version of the, um, that form of the, you know, switching into different energy forms. Uh, the problem is, though, that you only get one armor swap. So basically, uh, there are four uh, there are four different forms, but you can really only ever have two of them represented from your figure if you only buy the base level experience, because it only comes with swaps for that. Uh, you you can see the extra cherry one just hanging out there. That's it. That's all you're getting. Oh, uh, but also a stand. So that uh, that sucks that you might have to buy another one, but you know. If you're like me, you're probably just going to have to buy it all again anyway, just so you can get the extra one. It's fine. It'll work out. You'll be fine. Hey, let's take a look at this next one, which is Zangetsu. We were talking about him before. Um, and also, you know, as as uh, Malunus, Josh, and I were speculating, we were thinking, oh man, th there are going to be tons of new different forms and all that stuff and new different riders. No, it's just upgrade forms of everyone we got from Wave 1, and that makes complete sense. Why would they not want to reuse the molds that they already made? Uh, but hey, it looks good and does come with both versions of the bow. Uh, and once again, the stickers are a lot better here because there's a lot less of them. There's tons of paint, and there's even some, like, really grainy detail in the shoulder pad. I, I love it. Um, and we do get to see the continuation of that sort of pattern on the chest as well in green. So I am I am absolutely in love with this release. Uh, this is everything it comes with. Also has those brand new hands. Uh, very just so excited for this. Um, yeah, anyway, let's move into the last figure of this set. It's Baron. Obviously it's Baron. And you know what? This is so awesome. Like, this is the figure... This is the form, basically, that got willed into existence by just the fans because this character was so popular and I'm glad that it made it into the second release of this, like, the, the, I don't know, the, the fan outcry brought this into existence and now we have it here in physical form for us in a retail set. I cannot believe it. Um... And, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just so excited about this. Comes with everything you saw with the other Energy Riders. Um, it's it's just looking good. It's it's such a good time. I will note, though, that the belt on Baron and the belt on Zangetsu, those are both correctly molded in red. And even with Gaim, uh, both those Gaim forms have the black belts. So I'm really happy about that because in the initial release... Um, those figures had blue belts, and I was not too big into those. Uh, something else I really like about this set is that, or about this figure, is that, uh, the sticker detail on the, the wings on the back, or the wings, the cape on the back is done really well, as well as the inside of the cape, so really good stuff here. Uh, anyways, this comes out in February of 2021. Pre-orders are up now. I've left links in the description down below to where you can pre-order those. Same with Savenger. I left those links in the description. So if you want any of those, go ahead and go to those links. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I guess I have to say that now. Uh, I just want you guys to get your hands on these if you really want them. Because I'm so excited for these. I'm so excited for more. And I hope you guys are too. Anyways... That's it for this bit of the news. Um, I'm going to be doing another news video, or another, another two news videos on uh, some really big uh, Super Mini Plot news that just came out last night. Uh, and then after that, some Shoto Digimon news. But if you're not interested in any of that news, might I interest you in a Kamen Rider Soto review? 
Uh, I did one this past weekend-ish, around that time, and uh, I've got a little clip for you if you want to check this out. With that said, though, they are looking a bit naked, so let's get some stickers. Alright, so like I said, if any of that interests you, uh, the link is in the I icon above, or it was, uh, and then also at the end card of this video. Also, at the end card of this video, is a playlist put together of videos that donate their ad revenue to the Black Lives Matter movement, so if you would like to support that, just go ahead and watch the videos, or there are still links in the description down below to how you can help support the Black Lives Matter movement by donating money directly and signing petitions so whatever you do as long as you do it it absolutely helps um and then yeah all those all those pre-order links are down below so get on top of those now there oh oh there are also um soto build uh build no soto book five uh saber book five pre-order links in the description down below from amiami or hlj that's really all i know where to pre-order them from uh so make sure to Check those if you want them. Those are up now. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep it.